I feel great. I feel good. Not great. I feel good. I've had it for several years. It's a cyst, a arachnoid cyst that uh, uh, surfaced a couple of times, once in 98, once in 04, and then a couple other times. And it's just something you got to manage. And, and uh, I had a procedure done. They were great at the medical center uh, to relieve some pressure, and I'm good to go. Front row, Bill. That's a good question. And you're and you're right. That you know, you guys have a coach on practice go today. It's went fine. Um, but I felt like we lost something on defense. With the, we have a mantra. Of, uh, we have a uh, you know, culture that I want to make sure we don't lose. And what happens with fast break offenses and, and all the kinds of scheme that you lose, that it's four to six seconds, point A to point B. That's who we are. That's the last thing I say to every team before they take the field because I want them to go hard and not be worried about mistakes. And I felt like we were a what if defense last year. What if they did this? And I saw from our coaches and saw from our players. And so uh, what I'm looking for is simplicity and four to six and eight B. If you can't give us that, then we're going to move on and get another player that will. So if you see big plays right now, I don't care. I just want to see you guys trigger and go. So uh, that's been that way since day one in 2000, or what was it? Man, in 2001, when I first became a head coach, I don't want a team that's scared to make mistakes. I don't want a team that's thinking. I want a team that goes four to six seconds. And when they put their foot in the ground, it's A to B as fast as far as you go. But we've scored many, many touchdowns on offense. And we played some great defense where maybe guys were misaligned, made a couple of mistakes, but they overcame it with effort. I didn't feel that way last year. Really, I haven't felt that way the last two years. So that's what I'm looking for. Mark Rowe, Tom. Yeah, they got a contraption set up where he actually calls the play. Um, Calls the play. He also uh, tells us what he sees in secondary. His habit, his uh, uh, the issue. I'm sure you remember a year ago was fundamentals with footwork and balance and uh, just ball positioning. Uh, his issues now are verbal communication and keeping the eyes on the secondary. And so every play we're having him say what he sees in the secondary. So it, it'll be a productive spring. He's into it right now. Most quarterbacks do. That's why there's a lot of average quarterbacks out there. It's going to be a tough nut to stand back there and, and uh, have a pass rush coming on and still keep your eyes downfield. That's, that's, I'd probably say it's typical of every quarterback I've ever been around. You know, fight your way through that. Yeah, it was great. Uh, you know, I think we have a transition of personnel like you have every year. You know, last year, the previous year, we lost probably the best group of leaders that have been around. Uh, this year, we had uh, some guys that weren't great leaders developed into very good leaders. I uh, don't want to diminish what happened because we came back and took the lead in the fourth quarter and gave up in the last two. Uh, gave up. Uh, uh, we lost a couple in the last two, and it happens. Uh, if I felt like there was lack of fight, and I you know, didn't blow the whole thing up. It was certainly not like a fight. So uh, we just got to improve. We got to finish. And uh, uh, I like where we're at as a team. And uh, Coach Mick likes where we're at for what we did. You know, so. Yeah, yeah, I felt last year, I didn't want to say the word entitled, but I felt like there was, you know, uh, I, 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 I want to, Angry blue collar team. I'm, I'm hoping that I don't know. It's a little story. Early. I'm hoping that's what we have. Last year was kind of well, you're 12 and all your preseason this and this. And I haven't had many people ask about our preseason right now, but I know it is. But you know, we're just trying to find out uh, who's going to play for us in some spots. Yeah, a couple of other one. What's the price of losing but not being able to go this week? Game reps. Game reps. That's it. What, 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 what cost him, I guess, Yeah, if he, if he doesn't have a good summer, it cost him a lot. He'll be a very average player. So there's, I think he understands his weaknesses. It's verbal, and it's keeping his eyes on the secondary. 
Uh, the good thing is you can do that without, you know, it's obviously better for the throw. And if you saw him, he was every, every snap right behind there, and I can watch him. He's engaged. And he's got a lot riding on us now. In case he fixes, in case he, you know, if he doesn't fix this and this, it's, it's not a, you know, it's a much different spot than he wants to be. came out of nowhere. You know, I, I went to meetings in the AFCA and uh, I was at the head coach's meeting in, uh, in Annapolis, never heard it before. And then uh, like a week later, we were in uh, Chicago, the Big Ten meetings. And then all of a sudden, I just actually hear the media. So uh, I think it's interesting conversation, but there, there's no way that that should start passing rules without a lot of conversation. Because the game right now is strong, it's popular. Um, I like it the way it is. I voted to not you know, uh, not penalized, but just keep going as is. And if there is further research to be done, then let's do research. Yeah, that's a good question, Doug. Uh, he, uh, we knew he got dinged in the bowl game uh, in the pocket where he uh, got hit, and uh, they wanted to rehab it four weeks. Because any any time you don't want to have surgery on a player, if you can rehab it through it, and it wasn't making any progress, so we made a decision to uh, fix it. And you mentioned Derek Lee. Why is he the guy now that how the first day of practice is running with the ones? He's deserted. He, uh, his last three weeks of uh, fall, uh, his off season, he's 225, I want to say. He's legitimate 4'5", four, 4'4 four, four guy. He's got all the skill, skills. His negative is to play quarterback at the bar like that. Oh, no, uh, uh, New Albany. And uh, so we just got to get him ready to go play. So him and Worley's had a good uh, uh, off season as well. And then there's a kid named Kyle Berger. I can't wait to get him. I saw him the other day, 230 pounds and jacked. And so th those are the kind of players we want out there. If we're going to play base, we'll trade down our base. Watch what I screen. 
I'm not, I'm not kidding you. You know how loud I blow the whistle. So, yeah. so I have Fernando blow the whistle. Maybe this sound bring me this out. So. so I'll be back after spring break. You'll hear it again. Last question. Uh, well, Herbert, I want to ask you about the question. Well, so far, I wish you did better today. You know, I'm grabbing today. Well, I just want guys to play. It's 12 yards instead of 10 yards. That's, I'll put that on the coach. You know, don't, don't, don't restrict players, man. Let them go and have fun and play the game. And we'll, you know, we don't play tomorrow. So when I see, I saw, you know, who's a good example? Jalen Marshall today. Completely different football player than was a year ago. Why? I'll put that on the coach. You know, let the kid go play. And, uh, uh, I saw I saw what you saw. You didn't play great. You should just go. JT. 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 Well, I don't know who's going to be the better company. I, don't, I wasn't particularly impressed with both guys today. I thought they'd do a little better than today. You know, Jeff Ironman has a little nose, but the nose is going to be better than Thursday. Season. season program's really rough right here. Focus those. And Curtis Samuel, I guess that's a little hamstring. Any other questions? Yeah, he's got some on. His dad's not doing well, so you know, that's a shame, too. Great kid.